All right, welcome back to the CC Kitchen, newly renovated by Ferguson. Well, today we're really excited because we have Thea's Bass and Bitty Kitchen in the kitchen, and we have some really exciting news. So welcome, Thea, and then we have Charles here. So Thank Thea, tell us, what is the exciting news? So we are so excited to announce that we have opened our first brick and mortar here in Lexington in Gray Line Station. Woo! So we are officially open inside of actual restaurant space. Before we were in a pop-up in the Julieta Market kitchen and we are grateful for that time. We officially have our own location. Yeah. It's at Gray, in Gray Line Station, 101 West Loudon Avenue, Suite 162. Well, congratulations. Yeah. Thank right. you. Because we Thank had you, you on the show last year. Yes. And uh, you're talking about your delicious food yes. and you're yes. like, I'm gonna have a brick and mortar and yes. now you do. And I'm so grateful to have it. Charles and I are excited about it. We have things going on, things coming up. November 9th, we have a great takeover. My sisters, my family is coming down from Michigan to take over my restaurant location and do what sisters do. So we're having a party. It's from 4 to 9 p.m. Um, November 8th, we have a live band, the Positive Movement Band. So we want you all to come out. They'll be there from 7 to 9. Just keep click liking and following, and you'll find out the updates and upcoming events. Yeah. All right. Now, yeah, I'm the worst cook in the world. Okay. Like, I mean, I burn a Totino's pizza. I'm it's just so like me. <laughs> no, well, I'm all, oh, don't make fun of me. Oh, come on now. But I'm so bad. But what I love to know is, like, what inspires a chef, what inspires your love of cooking to pursue it all the way through full-time career? Well, ours is one of uh, family lineage heritage, and it's what always brings us together at the dining room table. Mm -hmm. So that's why we've done it for years. And Thanksgiving, sit-down dinners all my life, and then as he became into the world and grew up with us, same thing. Because you're so, related. You and Charles this are related. Yes, ma'am. Yes. This is my nephew. Smile. That's right. So I, was, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I was initially doing this alone, and then my nephew decided to come on board last year, and he's elevated. So he's a double-edged sword because he's home trained and culinary trained. Ah. So he takes the food to a whole different level. Awesome. And since you're his aunt, if you act up at work, you can still get grounded. So you better... <laughs> Huh? I'm sure he does. Oh, come on now. Why you got to point that out? <laughs> I, I, thought, I thought we were cool. I thought we were friends. Yeah. Tell yeah. us what you're making for us today. So today, uh, I have a, a different spin on the, the chicken alfredo for you guys. Uh, I make my own uh, hot sauce, uh -huh. and uh, I kind of incorporate that into my marinade. Uh -huh. So I marinate my chicken overnight. Mm. So all the, the spices and all the seasonings and uh, the extra, you know, bam, that makes bass yeah. and bitty what it is. Uh -huh. It kind of seeps into the chicken. And I'm able to, you know, take that out and it, it enhances all my dishes from the fish to the chicken to the sauce, uh -huh. you name it, as you can see right here. Oh, it looks smells, amazing. It smells yeah. even better. Uh, yes. Yeah. So uh, I, I have a little, it's basically like a, a kicking chicken Alfredo. Okay. Uh, uh -huh. And the, the way. I'll take this off. Yeah, if you wouldn't mind. Yes, of course. Look at you. I thought, you know, she said, you said you didn't know how to cook, but she's over here helping me out already. I'm a sous chef. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, what? Can you give classes? Can I? Yeah, please. Actually, we will start having classes in 2025. We're going to have classes for families, classes for kids, classes for adults. We'll do things like date nights, family nights, so that people can come out. Things that are fun. Classes for idiots. But we're we're grateful to have those individuals because the interest increases and then you're able to take the food, you know, cook it and mm -hmm. then take what you have left home and then now you have a new recipe or a new yeah. way to cook something <laughs> simply. <laughs> and we're just we're we're trying to incorporate as much as possible. Um, we've only been open five weeks this week. Okay. So it's very exciting mm -hmm. and it's very overwhelming because yes. we had already been cooking in the kitchen but it wasn't our kitchen. So when we came into this space, even though we had a lot of things we had to do, it kind of just picked up from where it left off. And we spoke the other night and realized we've been off for a year. Wow, wow this is right. tremendous. Yeah, it's been yes, amazing. Yeah. And you all amazing. have delicious food. We're gonna taste this So yes. plate it up. We've got less than a minute. Oh, okay. I'm getting my fork gotcha. ready. And someone Charles said, real quick, if someone said, what are the two things on the menu that you'd say, look, if you're stopping in, you've gotta try these two. Um, that's kind of hard, hard question, Andrew. Right? It's hard because a lot of people like everything. But what we did, mm -hmm. because we were initially, I started off with just fishing chicken and fries. We did a combination plate. My friend Kathy actually um, put that together one summer. And so well, the combination plate is fish and chicken. Mm -hmm. So if you don't know which to pick, you get both. Yeah. And then the chicken alfredo. 
All right, well, I'm going to try this. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, yeah. oh, oh, I know, okay. I know you're going to be excited. Just give me one yeah, look, look. second. You should step over here and get your look, fork because she may eat it all. y'all can smell this right now, it <laughs> is vision will be amazing. ideal. It is. I know, it's our so TVs good. are 4K now. We do need smell-o-vision. <laughs> need smell-o-vision. <laughs> So right now, street, putting a little bit listening. of Parmesan on it, a yes. little bit of uh, sliced green onions, and this last little bit right here, uh, just to go for a little healthy touch, this is actually sliced leeks. Nice. Yeah. All right, get out of my way, Charles. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Andrew can't even get a fork You stand over here because they want to eat. Oh, my so God. Oh my, it you looks gotta try so this. Good. It's so good. So Check out Thea's Bass and Biddy Kitchen at the Gray Line Station. Thank you all so much. Thank of you. Course. Good luck with thank everything. You, thank you so much. Can't wait to have you back. Y'all can come to my house this weekend. <laughs> oh, we're going to do this. And I'm going to teach you how to cook, right? Yes, please. Okay. We do cater and we do have private chefs. So hey. you're welcome to come. So there please, you go. Please. Well, all the information is up on the screen. Yes. Check it out.